Ready to relive your youth? I'm pregnant. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best coming of age movies. I'm from Africa, you from Africa, you African booty scratcher. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're counting down the most iconic coming of age stories, touching on themes of love, loss, and coming to terms with what it means to navigate the world as an adult. Because I think that's real shitty. We're only looking at live action films, so animated movies like Persepolis won't make the cut. Number 10, The Edge of 17. Bottom line is I have nothing in common with the people out there and they have nothing in common with me. Nadine? Max? Maybe nobody likes you. Writer-director Kelly Freeman Craig has gone on record saying that her directorial debut was heavily inspired by the late John Hughes and watching the film, it's almost as if you were watching a movie from the man himself. Haley Steinfeld stars as Nadine, a junior in high school who, after the death of her father at a young age and a slight backstabbing from her lifelong best friend, sees the world as being entirely against her. Twins! Yes! I love that movie! So good! Love that movie! You and your brother kind of remind me of that. With Steinfeld turning in an outstanding performance and snappy dialogue that hits all the marks of teenage conversation, this is one movie that everyone should see at least once. I'm gonna write down the next thing you're gonna say to me. I'm not gonna play your little, little games, games Nadine. Nadine. Congratulations. Mm. Number nine, the perks of being a wallflower. I can see it. This one moment when you know you're not a sad story. You are alive. Based on director Stephen Chbosky's own novel, which could easily top any list of the best coming-of-age novels of all time, the 2012 film adaptation was named an instant classic upon release. Can we be friends again? Of course. Heavy hitters like Logan Lerman, Emma Watson, and Ezra Miller all turn in performances that speak to the troubles that face teens every day. And while the film does deal with some heavy subject matter, by the end, you'll be wishing you could spend a little more time with these characters. Of course, you'll also have David Bowie's Heroes on repeat as well. Number 8, Superbad. These eyes, do, 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 cry every night for you. Evan and Seth have been inseparable since childhood, and as their high school graduation approaches, they are forced to deal with the possibility of being apart for the first time. You failed on me, okay? You bailed on me this morning when Jesse spat on me, and you're bailing on me next year. In a hilarious booze-soaked romp written by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, the film perfectly captures the nuances of friendship, relationships, and partying. Lots of partying. Oh, and it's one of the most quotable films of the 2000s. I love you. I'm not embarrassed. Love you. I love you. It's like, why don't we say that every day? Why can't we say it more often? I just love you. I just want to go to the rooftops and scream, I love my best friend Evan. We should go up on my roof. Number seven, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Mister, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna kick 100% of your ass! This classic teen film introduced us to a plethora of now superstars. Jennifer Jason Lee, Sean Penn, Forrest Whitaker, and more. Adapted from the 1981 book of the same name, this film follows a group of high school students as they go through the motions of growing up, touching on themes of sexuality, heartbreak, and drugs. Hilarious and entertaining through and through, this film is full of the teen comedy tropes that we know and love today. And who could ever forget that scene? Oh, wait just a minute. Number 6, Boyhood. There aren't many movies that you can accurately say are wholly unique, but this is surely one of them. Richard Linklater's magnum opus Boyhood was filmed over a span of years between 2002 and 2013. Revisiting the lives of his characters every year, they aged in real time. Because of the style of the filming, the film has a sense of reality to it that a typical movie just can't hold a candle to. I just feel like there are so many things that I could be doing and probably want to be doing that I'm just not. It's a simple story without shocking plot twists or standout events, but rather a tale that feels similar to most people's real-life childhoods, filled with small highs and lows. I'm really happy that you're hanging out with us. Yeah. Me too. Number 5, Lady Bird. 
What can be said about Lady Bird that hasn't already been said amid the critical praise it received when it was released? I want to go where culture is, like, like New York, world I raise such or at snob. least Connecticut or New Hampshire, well, where writers live in the get woods. Get into those schools anyway. This 2017 film transports viewers to 2002 and follows a high school senior in Sacramento who has named herself Lady Bird. Well, I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. Okay. It's a story that focuses on the mother-daughter relationship as well as the female experience of growing up and all the pains that come along with it. I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? It deals with tropes like applying to college and losing your virginity, but all from an angle that feels fresh and modern despite the setting. Number 4. The 400 Blows Okay, so the movie itself is middle-aged, but hear us out on this one. The 400 Blows released in France in 1959 is credited with completely changing the coming-of-age genre and making it what it is today. Rather than focusing on an idealized version of youth or childhood, this movie takes a more accurate portrayal of the life of a young Parisian boy. It's a simple story about a kid who makes bad decisions and has to deal with the consequences, but its realism is what really sets it apart and is why it still holds up today. Number 3. Dazed and Confused That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> this iconic teen comedy follows a group of teenagers on the last day of high school in 1976, and boy, does it ever hold up today. With a stacked cast, including Ben Affleck, Matthew McConaughey, Mila Jovovich, and more, this film is Richard Linklater's love letter to teen angst, growing pains, and the 70s. The film has become a cult classic and arguably one of the best comedy films of all time. Look, I mean, all I'm saying is that if I ever start referring to these as the best years of my life, remind me to kill myself. Number 2. Stand By Me For many young men, watching this film is a rite of passage. Stand By Me is based on a novella written by Stephen King. That, like the film, is set around four boys on a quest to find the body of a missing boy. Each of the characters has his own cross to bear, and throughout the film, they manage to touch on many issues like abuse, neglect, and mental illness. Kids lose everything unless there's someone there to look out for them. This story is more about the journey than the destination itself, and throughout, Gordy, Chris, Teddy, and Vern learn about themselves and each other, coming out the other side completely changed. As time went on, we saw less and less of Teddy and Vern until eventually they became just two more faces in the hall. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You're not like everyone else. You don't stare at my stomach all the time. You look at my face and every time I see you, the baby starts kicking super hard. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. What? Yeah, you're gonna have to take off for getting complaints. You're having way too much fun. It's making everyone uncomfortable. Okay. Number 1. The Breakfast Club Of course this had to be our number one pick. John Hughes was the king of the classic American coming-of-age movie, having created beloved classics like Sixteen Candles and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, as well as this much-loved film. He's a tease. I'm sure. Why don't you just forget it? Oh, you're a tease and you know it. All girls are teases. The Breakfast Club is an iconic 80s movie that works at breaking down high school stereotypes by bringing together students from different crowds for a Saturday detention together. No! I never did it! They realize that they have much more in common than they could have imagined, and they all leave a little older and a little wiser. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.